Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Just finished going over my nine reasons to consider buying the new Canon 6D Mark II. I'm very excited about it. Of course, as you know, I'm disappointed it didn't have 4K, but the camera itself is still a fantastic offering. And if you watch that video, you can see the nine reasons I felt it's very much worth considering if you're looking to purchase a full frame camera right now. I think it's a very, very strong offering from Canon. Uh, however, as I always do, I like to balance the pros and the cons. I like to um, let you know also what might be lacking or why you might want to consider something else on a specific camera. And so as always, I have four reasons why you might not want to buy the 6D Mark II. Let's see here. We have the uh, Matt's four reasons to not buy the 6D Mark II. And um, the first one is not a knock on the camera, but it is something you're going to want to consider depending on what your shooting needs are. And that is resolution. The camera is 26 megapixels, up six from the 6D. It's two megapixels above a lot of its competition, the D610 from Nikon, the D750 from Nikon, the Sony A7 Mark II, which is 24 megapixels. But you may that may not be enough resolution for you. If you need a high resolution camera, this is not particularly a high resolution camera. The D810 from Nikon is uh, 36 megapixels. We got 50 megapixels from Canon's own 5DS and 5DSR and Sony's 42 megapixel A7R Mark II. All of these may be better options for you if you do need a very high resolution camera. Usually the case uh, for that is if you're into landscapes or if you are into commercial work are usually where we're seeing people with higher demands for resolution. And in that case, these other options we, I, I just mentioned, you may wish to look at those over a 6D Mark II. Not saying there's anything wrong with the resolution in the 6D Mark II, but it may not be enough for you. The second one we have here is speed. If you are primarily a sports and wildlife shooter, there are faster cameras on the market, faster autofocus, faster frame rates. The 60 Mark II is at 6.5 frames per second, which is very respectable. I'm not knocking it again. It's, it's a good offering from Canon. It's up. I believe it's up. I think it was six frames a second off the 6D, so up a little bit. But if you need an ultra fast camera for things like sports or fast flying birds and other wildlife, then perhaps uh, a more pro-oriented body would be a better solution for you if that's what your needs are. That's not to say that you couldn't shoot sports and wildlife with the 6D Mark II. Six and a half frames per second is still very respectable. It's a very capable camera with a very good autofocus system. But you're going to have to evaluate what your needs are to decide, is it enough for you? If it is, I think you're getting a great camera for photography. I think it's, you know, for me, six and a half frames per second is fast enough, and that autofocus system is pretty sweet. There is better, though, and if you need the best of the best because you're constantly shooting fast-moving targets, then perhaps you should look at something else. Number three is price, and this is something you might want to consider because perhaps, depending on your needs, the 6D, the original 6D, is a better value for you. You could essentially have two for the price of the new 6D Mark II. Do you need that six megapixel bump in resolution? Do you need the very angle LCD? Uh, all of these are features that are good and they're welcome improvements in the Mark II over the original Mark I. But if your shooting needs are such that these aren't a big deal for you, then perhaps your money is better spent on the original 60, which can now be had regularly for under $1,000 either, either used, on sale, or as a refurb. So it's just an option to consider because as great as the 6D Mark II is, maybe you don't need the new enhancements it brings and an original 6D at a better price might be more to your needs, whether that means two bodies shooting professionally or now you can afford to get into full frame at under $1,000, whereas you aren't ready to step up to a $2,000 camera on the 6D Mark II. Just an option to consider here. Last and not least is as you know, one of my uh, pet peeves, one of the things that I was disappointed about is no 4K video in the 6D Mark II. If you're a serious video shooter, if you shoot a lot of video, whether that's YouTube or commercially or for any of the reasons that, I mean, people are shooting a lot more video now than ever and perhaps even more so than photos these days. Um, and if that's the case, 
then I would suggest the 60 Mark II perhaps is not for you. You are not getting 4K with this camera, and 4K is kind of a, it's the new de facto standard. And so are you willing to shoot your work, to pour your energy and your creativity into creating something that you have to create at a lesser uh, codec, a lesser size, if you will, less, lesser resolution? Um, with 4K being the new standard, I would be very hesitant. I won't do that. Uh, and a lot of us won't. Casey Neistat doesn't now either. Um, for a while, we were still okay to shoot in 1080. Now, in the middle of 2017, 4K is where it's at for video. It's where you should be if you're just shooting any amount of video, especially for professional work, for all the different uh, benefits it brings being able to shoot it that way. And 6K is coming down the pipe. 8K is coming down the pipe. Panasonic's got some of those resolutions coming out in time for the new next Olympics. Other other manufacturers will be hot on their heels and um, so when we know that the next step past 4k is coming it just seems too old a format to be shooting in in 1080 i guess not a format a too old a resolution to be shooting in and i know myself it's not good enough anymore and that is the disappointment for me with the 60 mark ii because everything else about it looks fantastic if you're just into photography it's probably absolutely fine for you and you will probably love that camera if you're shooting video I think you may want to look elsewhere. Something to consider anyways. Those are my four reasons why you might not want to buy the 6D Mark II. Why it may not be the camera for you. None of them really, aside from the 4K, are a knock against it. It's just reasons you may want to look elsewhere uh, depending on your needs. And, you know, kind of sizing the camera to what your needs are. So, let me know, guys. Uh, are my four reasons things that would uh, click with you? Are they reasons you might not want to buy the 60 Mark II? Is there one I've missed that makes you not want to consider the 60 Mark II? Let me know in the comments below. Let's discuss it. Uh, I'm still very interested in this camera. I think it's a great offering from Canon. Wish they had it done the 4K. Let me know what you guys have to say. Comments below. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.